I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on square roots and Pythagorean theorem. Question number seven. Explain how you can draw a line segment with exact length of square root two centimeters and square root three centimeters. As you know, square root two and square root three are irrational numbers. We do not have exact value of these numbers, right? So if I write square root of 2 and use calculator, what do I get? Let's see. Square root of 2 is equal to, in decimals, 1.414213562, right? And if I write square root of 3, what do I get? Square root of 3 is equal to, in decimals, 1.732050808. So these are non terminating decimal numbers, right? These are non terminating decimal numbers, and therefore we cannot exactly measure them. That's the whole idea. But the question says, draw a line segment with exact length of square root 2. How will you do so? How will you do so? Now, Pythagorean theorem can be used to draw exact length of square root 2. Let me show you how. So I'll make very approximate sketches here. To share with you the concept. So we'll talk about the concept. Right? So the idea here is that let me just draw a number line. A line here, right? So I'll just draw a line here. On a line, one centimeter, I'm making slightly bigger so that you can easily see. I know one centimeter is only that much. So I'll write this. I will assume different scale. Let's say this is one for me, right? Let me not say centimeter. Let us say this is one unit, right? So in my scale, this is one unit. I need length of square root two. How can I do it? If I draw perpendicular to this same distance, that is one more unit, so that these two are equal, and this one is right angles. In that case, what is going to be the length from this point to that end? It's kind of a diagonal, right? This diagonal is exactly square root 2 using Pythagorean theorem. 1 square plus 1 square is square root 2, right? So we have a length which is exactly square root 2. To get it on this number line, I can take and put it here on the number line. So that length for me is square root 2. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we can get something which is square root 2 units. You can do the same thing with centimeter scale and do it, right? So we are doing square root 2 units, not centimeters, where our one unit is that long. Now, can you tell me how do we draw square root 3? Hmm. That's a bigger question. Well, we'll follow the same concept. So now we have a length which is exactly square root 2. I can actually again draw a line which is equal to 1 unit, that much. So if I have this as 1 unit, this from here to here is square root 2. Now, what is the diagonal for this rectangle will be whose one side is square root 2. So, so if I draw this diagonal, then this should be equal to how much? This should be equal to square root 3. Do you see that? This side will be equal to 1 square plus square root 2 square square root. Now, 1 square is 1, square root 2 square is 2, and so we get square root 3. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to get square root 3. 
And how did we get square root 2 earlier? We got 1 square plus 1 square square root, which was equal to 1 plus 1 square root or square root 2. Correct? So this is an excellent way of getting exact lengths for irrational numbers like square root 2 and square root 3. Now, if you could draw both of them exactly, that means you could draw exact length for any line segment, any irrational number. Perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like and subscribe to it, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.